Hello, I've been asked to have a go at this exercise here and we're supposed to find the HCF and LCM of 84, 56, 98. Now, in this state, this will be referred to as the as GCF, greatest common factor and lowest common denominator in the state. So the first thing to do is to see if we can divide 84, 56 and 98. We need to exhaust all the uh, prime numbers first. And the answer is yes, because all three numbers are even numbers. So if we divide 84, 56, 98, we get um, 42, 28, and 49. And then the next uh, prime number that is a factor common to all three numbers is 7. Okay? Now, if we divide uh, 42 by 7, we get uh, 6 and 4 and then 7. Now, 6, 4, and 7 have not got between them a common factor. Okay? So, what but 6 and 4 uh, between them have got a, fa a common factor of 2. So, now if we divide uh, 6 and 4 by 2, we end up with 3 and 2. And then bring it 7 down. So, now our highest common factor GCF or HCF is 2 times 7 which is 14. Our lowest common multiple is the 2 times the 7 times this 2 here and the lowest 3 numbers which is 3, 2 and 7, the numbers in the lowest column here. So our LCM then becomes 2 times 7 times 2, this 2 here times 3, times 2, and then times 7. Now, sometimes you are asked to express the LCM as a product of prime factors. The answer should be 2 cubed, because you got uh, 3, 2, the 2 cubed, times 3, times 7 squared. That's equal to 1,176. Now, why don't you have a go at uh, 36, 42, and 81, and see what you get. Now, here's another example. Uh, if we divide 1 minus uh, 252 by 2, we end up with uh, 98 and 26. Divide by 2 again, we end up with 49 and 63. Divide by 7, and you end up with 7 and 9. So, the highest common factor of 196 and 252 is 2 times 2 times 7. And, or, if you're asked to express this as a a product of prime numbers or prime factors is going to be 2 squared times 7 and that's 28. Now, our LCM then becomes the 2 times 2 times 7 in the red column times the 7 times 7 times 9. Okay, so that now becomes our highest, sorry, our lowest column multiple is the L shaped thing here. Right. Now, if you're not asked to express this as a product of prime factors, your answer should be 2 squared times 7 squared times 3 squared because 9 is 3 squared. Now, if you're asked to express this as a product of prime number, if you write down 2 squared times 7 squared times 9, you'd be wrong. It should be 2 squared times 7 squared times 3 squared. Okay? I hope that's okay. I hope it makes sense. And thank you for watching. Uh, please, please subscribe. And I'll see you again sometime. Bye-bye now.